I feel I have always been a service user because uh, when I was born it was a breech birth, legs first, and uh, also as soon as I come out I, I was born with a club foot. So I've been in and out of op op hospital over the years to do with that. I also, I also had a strangulated hernia and I uh, had a 50% 50 chance, 50 chance of living or dying. So, um, how did you find uh, Listen Not Label? Well, I had psychosis uh, back in uh, 2010. Uh, not long after my dad passed away, I got really depressed. And uh, I went right under and I started hearing things and voices and music. And I was sent into HTML. Uh, no. CMHT I mean, not the website, but CMHT, and um, that was taken over sometime afterwards by uh, LNL, and uh, with Listen Not Label, and uh, I've been going to the uh, outreach um, drop-ins ever since, and um, that is how I, I got into Listen Not Label. What prompted you to be a volunteer? Well, a number of reasons. Um, because I knew this was all to do with uh, psychology, and I've always been interested in psychology because I, I, I suffer with Asperger's and I'm interested in all sort of multitude of things, uh, psychology being one of them, um, that was one of the prompts. And when I was doing my degree, I, uh, as a sideline, I did psychology, so I had a bit of a ground in there. And also, um, when I uh, another aspect of which made me uh, be to be a volunteer was um, my grandfather back in 1931 got a certificate after studying to psychology to, to be a male nurse in a uh, uh, Coney Hill mental asylum in Gloucester. And um, I've got that picture up on the wall, so that was another aspect that got me into it. Uh, what are the benefits of, of uh, being a volunteer? Well, I get a hell of a lot out of it because I've got a lot of knowledge and that uh, I'm able to to, um, to do with helping other people out, this knowledge I've got, because I, I, I help out with the art department, that's one of my main voluntary aspects. So number one, I've got that, and my knowledge in art, which does that side of it. My psychology, and that means I also love helping other people out who've got problems and who are having difficulty uh, in life, and I like a laugh, and... I think that's one of the things that helps people out and I love be the, being with people and trying to sort of help them cope with a very difficult world that we're living in with a lot of problems in it.